Okay guys, we are back in the secret gym and just giving you guys a full scale view of what's here and yes, again, I have it all to myself. So today is, what's the, it's Sunday, but what's the date? No idea. La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I give my money right. It is Sunday the 14th of September and today I'm just going to stretch I'm going to really do lots of kind of like full movements of like stretching because I am really tight um, I've got backstories of why like I'm just as fucked as I am but you know I've got my Pro Lab band on got that from Fitness Factory it says believe in yourself so I'm going to stretch today and then do um so I feel like doing squats and deadlifts, not like heavy, but you know, to kind of stretch, stretch fully, then do something that requires a lot of kind of mobility. Ah! Ah! Guys, I'm not messing with what I'm saying, like, this is so hard. Fucking hell. so long. I, I think you guys see me when I had the bench. This is a lot heavier. I mean it's a lot heavier. This is harder. So, what I'm going to do now is more like dynamic work, so step ups. I'm going to do squats with this on my back um, and then a step up onto this to focus on the actions. You know, I always say that everything you should do should build into the main movement. So right now, you see me do the, the lunges, stretching out my inner thigh. Then you see me doing the clams, which works in the full range of the leg, works on the, the, the small and dynamic muscles, the twitch fibers. And now what I'm going to do is essentially squats and step ups. Why I'm doing it? Because the squats are in line with the bigger exercise we're going to be doing later. Squats and the step ups allow me to at least go into a active motion using the power to drive up. The same, the same action I'll be doing when I push up from the squat, so I'm going to get to it guys. So uh, anyway guys, we're going to move on to shoulders and I'll show you why my shoulders are tight. Like, when people say, oh yeah, put your, put your arms up, for me, a bit, for me here, it starts hurting. It's really restricted. Like, I, if, I, if I need to kind of straighten it up more, it, it kills right now it hurts, it forces too much pressure in my shoulder area. I'm really top heavy and it's restricted and it follows me all the way down. So for me now, what I'm looking to do is to change all that and switch up with the help of anything bands, the, and just 
wouldn't stick is essential. If you've got one of these in your gym, then use it. If you haven't, then I'm sure you can get like a barbell, small barbell. Even with the, with the small weights on it, you can still use it if I forget the weights there. See the, see the way my back is now, the way it goes down, my arse really sticks out, so really I should be like this, like that, see, see that, so when I'm like this, my arse sticks out, it pushes my ab, like abdominals forward, so, each, so I could have like a decent amount of ab, ab showing, but it's hard because it's, it's pushed out as my arse kind of sticks that way. So not to use my posture is a big thing I need to improve because this like is me normal. If, if I bring my ass in to where it should be, you, you see, I, I, my posture, my back straightens up. I need to take my taller. I need to get from, get get it to here instead of being like that because like that messes me up, messes up with my squat, messes up with my deadlift. It means I can't go heavy. And I'm not going to be an ego lifter, so just go heavy regardless. I need to be smart about this, that's why. I'm going to make sure to improve this. Another thing guys, <clears throat> another thing guys, um, I, told, I told someone to stretch, they need to stretch, and they came to me the next day saying to me that they felt worse after stretching than they did before they were stretching, and they feel like they, they got more injured, like, the, and I, I looked at them and I said, of course you'll be in more pain, I said, that's the whole point of it, I said, end of the day, you can put your body through say push-ups or I mean you, you, you can put your body through a deadlift you know squats or the bench press it utilizes the big impact muscles you have smaller chain of muscles that don't get used they get overshadowed because the big muscle just takes over because your brain's been programmed to know it's a heavy load I need to use the strongest muscle I've got if I get these smaller ones I might as well just I might as well go to the bicep into the trunk activate all the little ones around it, of course. When you look to correct and the imbalances, you need to work on the small muscles because the big muscles are only useful for a certain point. But it's the small muscles that get you that you need for the daily routine, for the daily grind. So of course when you trigger them, especially ones that haven't been used, like guys, legs, <laughs> no one uses their leg muscles. So of course it's gonna hurt because they, they're doing something that is uncommon. It's it's an action, it's 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 like doing that. And it just starts to wake up. I mean, think about the load that we impact on them. And people just keep on going heavy, heavy, don't stretch. Don't forget, all the athletes, anyone, any um, bodybuilder or anyone who's into fitness, even celebrities, they will spend hours upon hours either getting people to massage them, go through health checks with them. Like, this is things you don't see behind the TV screen on the couch. But this is what they do. Bro, we, we live in some fucking like La La Land, that we feel that they just on point the day, every day. I mean, that's why I say to you guys, to open your mind, to start watching YouTube videos, to start seeing or reading about what your favorite celebrity does. Because that's what I did. I, I thought to myself, okay, one, okay, I had bad knees. I said, who, who, who suffers from bad knees? Basketball players, even a lot of them, like ballerinas, like, because of the O's constantly on the feet, always using like the muscle bend. Anyway, I googled and I YouTube exercises that they do for rehab recovery. And do you know what? I put that into my own training session. Do you, do you know the step ups that I was doing? 
a, like a few years ago, I couldn't do that because it was too much impact on my knee. I, I literally couldn't step up because as soon as I put that pressure on my knee, sharp stabbing pains would go into my knee and it just messed me up. Normal people would go, oh, that hurts, I need to lay off it. But people who actually are in the right mind frame to realise that laying off it actually does you more damage look, will look to educate themselves on how to rehab the muscle because to rehab it, it means you've got to work with it guys, you can't work against it. You can't expect something that doesn't receive enough activity to, to, to cure itself from giving it little activity. It's stupid, it doesn't work like that. Tell me nothing.